Good afternoon and welcome to the 12 noon. This is our midday opportunity for moving that little bit more. You might have been busy already this morning, um, but you've possibly not really been thinking that much about how you move. Here in the Movement Snacks, we turn our attention to what our body is actually up to when we're doing, when we're doing certain um, actions and certain movements. All the stuff that you find here in the Movement Snacks, uh, especially the 12 noon, relates to day-to-day -day stuff that you're doing already. Just with applied uh, attention than, uh, than we normally do. We're normally on a bit of an autopilot, aren't we, when we're kind of getting through our day. <clears throat> but here's where we really think and connect with brain and body um, to try and move that little bit better, move that little bit more efficiently <clears throat> and certainly be a bit more aware of how we're moving as well so that we can do stuff like strengthen, um, manage any joint conditions or, or discomforts that we might get, especially around the um, naughty knobbly knees uh, areas, those load bearing joints. We can uh, protect them, strengthen them, support them in doing, uh, in getting by through the day. There we go. Um, that's what this is all about. Hello, Vivian. Hello, Paul. Afternoon to you. Two minutes worth of preamble left. Um, and just me, Vivian and Paul so far. Um, yeah, I have shared a few video, uh, a few, not videos, photographs of my holiday. Just more scenery stuff. And then a couple of, uh, I think, me and Neve and then Bob and Willow together at the end. Sea Day is beautiful. It's quite, um, it's quite historic as well. There was a museum there, uh, an amphitheatre, as you saw, <clears throat> and um, lots of ancient ruins and stuff. And that was just on the walk from the bus stop into the town um, where it's, it's upon the sea. Sea day upon the sea. Afternoon, Odile and Gillian. Hello, you two. How are you doing? And uh, on holidays, it I just love those. I don't know what they're called, but I just love those tumbling flowers, those bushes of, of flowers that you get of pinks and reds and um, light pinks and stuff like that. I love, I love those didn't bring a cutting home. I should have done that, shouldn't I, really? I think we got out of Turkey just in time. as uh, Just that little bit before temperatures have started to rise into the uncomfortable zone. Pretty much for me, though, and my family, the uncomfortable zone is anywhere over about 25. <laughs> uh, but we did hit a couple of 40 degrees, 37s, whilst we were there towards the end few days but yeah very glad I'm I'm out of out of that heat now um is that what they're called Bougainville I said it with a little bit of an accent there didn't I like I was kind of saying it in a little bit of a I don't know Turkish accent maybe Bougainville or or is that a bit more Frenchified I'm not really sure <laughs> Right, everyone, it is 12 noon. Um, it's time to get ourselves going. Afternoon, Carolyn and Carol. Right, <clears throat> are we ready? Three, two, one, here's your three, two, one. Good afternoon, welcome. It's uh, 12 noon, it's time to get on with our noontime movement snack. And uh, you're with me, Kelsey Leverton from Later Life Training, today being Monday, the 17th of July, 2023. As always, posture check yourself. Find yourself uh, a seated or a standing position with external support available in standing. And we're going to start, as we always do, with a bit of circ boost. So up you stand, tall, opened posture, relaxed shoulders, no tension being held up in the shoulder areas or upper back area. Light fingertip touch, one hand or both hands onto external support and start your foot pedals. In addition to all of those things just mentioned, in seated, 
there's a bit of a hip walk. So take that hip walk, take as many steps with your bottom on the chair as you need to bring yourself into the front third. <clears throat> Try and have your heels underneath your knees, not too far tucked back there, just about heels under knees and uh, pedal you, pedal you go, pedal you off, off you pedal. Lifting tall, sitting high, perching, literally perching, poised on this front area of your seat. A little bit of an extra knee lift here brings us into a leg march. Keep that patter going and find your own comfortable pace. Really focus and put a bit of emphasis onto the ankles, feet and toes in this leg march in action. Not too high with the knee lift, just really enough room to let the big toe leave the ground. Um, if you want, bring in an arm swing, bring in both together. If you uh, don't require a continual hand uh, on your external support. Now here, elbows are bent, shorten that lever to get a bit more movement from the shoulders and drive the elbows back. Not too high with the hands at the front, but definitely pressing the elbows back at the back end of this swing. What this serves to do is give us a continual two or three minutes worth of low level physical activity uh, in the sense to warm us up, just get us moving and prepare the body for what's going to come in the, uh, in the moves that are coming right up. So just carry on there for a moment. If you want to give the legs a little bit of a pause and a rest down, just a tiny bit of focus on the top half only. Please choose to do that. Um, <clears throat> you could come down to foot pedals whilst keeping the arm swings in. It's up to you. Now occasionally in standing, if you are going to put the legs back in to the mix, you might want to stop the arms, get the legs moving and then build back into the arm swings. Sometimes adding legs to already moving arms can feel a little bit of a, a trickier transition. Anyway, let's take a pause there. <sighs> little lift of your heart rate is what you should be feeling. A temperature up a couple of um, notches and um, feeling a little bit more ready than we were a moment ago. Now, let's focus on a little bit of uh, movement around the hips. So let's take our feet a little bit wider in standing. Get into the knees so that you've got a little bit more of the suspension on in your legs. And um, just take your hips through a little bit of sideways moving. And this is without locking out the legs. So keep the knees soft. Just bring your hip up towards your rib cage. So the trunk isn't tipping or bending, side bending, it's just a little bit of movement through your hips. On one side, that side feels a little bit more movable than the other side. So you might notice a difference there. Now when seated, try and hip hitch and what you might find is that you actually lift one side of your buttocks off the chair, just a little bit, just enough room to kind of get your hand underneath your butt. But it's a squeeze into the hips from there. Just getting the hips moving, just getting the hips loosened, squeezing into the waistline a little bit as well. And like I say, in standing, we said about trying to avoid the tilting action, make that a lifting action into the sides of your body. Okay, now in seated, some of you in standing might prefer to come into seated for this. We're going to do some kind of pelvic movement, pelvic tilting. So as you sit, you feel like you're quite high sitting onto your bum bones would like you to slump down, 
feel like your tailbone's kind of tucking itself under and your lower back is bowing outwards now. We've literally sat our hip, our ribs on top of our hips now. There's no space in the abdomen there. And then roll back up and sit as tall, as high as you can and just have a feel round the back there into the lower arch of your back. slump, slouch, roll your back, your spine into a bit of a C shape and then re-stack it up, high perched onto the sit bones and just go through that motion again. Now in standing you can do that, keep the knees loose and what you're going to try and do is you might want to have your hands one at the back one at the front is tilt the pelvis forwards and then stick your tailbone out to the back. So you've got a bit of a hollow in your lower back there. So tilting, flattening out the back here, and then arching the back. Feel that hollow into your lower back there. So tilting and arching. In standing, you could do that with a little bit of a resting pose. Now I'm not going to lean into this so much because it's not that sturdy, but if you've got a wall behind you, you can try and flatten your back towards the wall, rolling the pelvis under, and then stick your tailbone into the wall and create that, that hollow there of the lower back. Tilting, tucking under, flattening the low back, and then arching the back there. Pelvic tilt, pelvic movements. Help us to bend our knees and get our uh, alignment and our positioning better. We do that little bit of a, a lift, don't we, into tall posture before we go into a um, back of thigh stretch in our um, 4 p.m., which we'll do that a bit later. You might feel your abdominal muscles working a little bit as well, and as well as just loosening up. And in seated, just have a go at sliding your hips forwards. So we're not going anywhere, we're not walking here. We're just shifting. It's kind of, you know when you scuff your feet against the floor and do like a walking, sliding action with your feet. That's all you're doing, but with your bum. Come down into seated, those of you who are in standing, and just have a little bit of a slide from one side to the other. A little bit of a trunk movement. Feel that in the hips a little bit. Feel that moving around the tops of the thighs a little bit. And take a, a roars, a rest and a pause that is combined. Take a roars right there. There we have you. Right, first few moves done there. Let's have a look at narrow foot placement. So we're going to bring our feet into and out of positions. Um, if you want, have your external support to the side. Start with feet hip distance apart. And then let's take a stepping action into a tightrope stand. Now shift your weight forwards a little bit, shift your weight backwards a little bit, find somewhere in the middle, see if you can let go or lighten your external support usage and that may challenge your balance. And then bring your feet back to base. Nice easy move, bringing your feet back in, knees are squeezed together, thighs are fully squeezed together, Stand up tall. This is an easier balance challenge for some of you. It might not be quite a balance challenge, but if it's not a balance challenge, put a couple of head turns in. Change your gaze. Head turns repeated from the morning movement mission. And that change of gaze might change your level of um, balance challenge there. Only put that in if you're happy to let go. Bring your feet back to base and let's step the foot behind this time. 
share the weight so it's not all on this back leg share the weight evenly with the front foot as well and then see if you can lighten loosen let go your external support notice the uh, little bit of uh, adjustment that your body's having to make through the feet ankles knees hips maybe a bit of trunk adjustment as well just to try and even out um, that balance challenge as it makes its way up the track now seated options here you can repeat everything that's just been done in standing with regards to foot placement just give a little bit of extra space behind um, when stepping behind so that you can try and press that heel down you might feel a little bit of a pull in the ankle there as you do that you can sit tall do some head turns this won't necessarily challenge your balance it's more just mobility through the neck and the position of your feet um, if you want to you can start to add a little bit of a lean and a reach in any which direction sideways forwards and then back to base maybe both arms shifting the weight you'll feel the adjustment of the weight going through each side of your buttocks and then maybe even some side bends down to the floor or some sideways reaches out to the side always coming back to that evenly sitting weight distribution through your hips okay how's that for you we got enough to be going along with there right let's just sit tall or stand tall and just take a few really deep breaths fully filling up the lungs feel the chest rise feel the ribs expand feel the diaphragm press down and then let it all out and with a better posture with a more improved posture you may well feel like you're able to take on a little bit of extra capacity into your lungs all right one more breath for me or do and then i'll go back to normal breathing and there we have your 12 noon movement selection there we go hello red rita just nipping in late are we a couple of you just um sneaking in at the back there you are sandra <clears throat> and uh mrs p as well just sneaking in at the back there you are that's all for the 12 noon today um i'll be back here with you at the 4 p.m yes it is my shift today right 4 p.m for me see you a little bit later on um, for a new sway routine and then good old round of stretches thanks all see you later